In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a truly curved curtain wall in Revit. So curtain walls in Revit and usually in real life are made out of straight line segments and that looks okay, but in some cases you might want to have a curved curtain wall. This isn't something that's done often, however, in some rare cases it can look really, really cool. So it makes sense to explain how to achieve this inside of Revit. Let's go. So the curtain wall panel family just doesn't bend or form an arc. So we need another element that can do this and luckily Revit walls can bend and create arcs. Now you might not know this, but you can actually use your regular Revit walls as your curtain wall panels. So that's what we're going to be doing to get this curved functionality. Uh, I'm going to be showing you also how to create some sweeps. So not only the panels themselves, so not only the glass, but also the mullions which are going to be modeled as sweeps in this case, are going to have that true curvature. So we're going to have a truly curved curtain wall. Uh, and also towards the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you a second approach using a stacked wall. Uh, it's also something that uh, people have been using. I just don't think it's as efficient as this first method. Now quickly, before we jump into Revit, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. If you're serious about learning Revit, that's definitely the best place to be with over 140 hours of content dedicated to all of the interesting and complex topics inside of Revit. So now without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. So now let's create a curtain wall. I'm going to go here to the build panel and then click on wall here in the properties, select the storefront curtain wall, and let's create a small segment by using the arc tool. So I'm just going to go like this. I think this will be large enough and create a curtain wall like this. Hit the escape key a couple of times and there we go. If I go to the 3D view, this is what we get. Obviously it has a lot of breaks and it's not truly curved. Uh, also something that they'll do is I'm just going to select that wall and then make it smaller. So let's make the entire height something like this. So we have kind of three panels. Uh, all in all. Okay, so now let's get started. So what we need to do, as I said, we need to create a new panel as a wall. So you want to go here to the wall tool, and I'm just going to place a simple wall segment. And let's use a generic one, doesn't really matter which one, and just place it like that. Hit the escape key a couple of times. And now let's select this wall and let's edit it. So go here into edit type. I'm going to duplicate this type and let's call this one our glass panel wall. Okay, click OK. Then let's go to structure, click on edit. And here the thickness is going to be 20 millimeters, which is the thickness of glass. And then for the material, obviously that's going to be glass. So let's just search for glass here. Pick out the glass material, double click. There we go. Click OK. OK again. And now we have a glass wall. Let's switch this to realistic so we can see that it's glass just a little bit better. OK, so once we have this glass wall, now, as I said, we need to add a mullion. So this will solve part of the problem. So let me actually show you that. If I select this uh, curtain wall, go here into edit type, and then instead of our curtain panel uh, being glazed, let's switch this to our new glass wall. We just need to find it. Okay, here we go. Uh, basic wall, glass panel wall, hit apply. Okay, and what you'll notice now is as I've uh, mentioned, the actual panel, as you can see, the curvature of that panel actually is correct. It follows the correct curvature. However, the mullions are still kind of broken. So we need to fix that uh, here in level one, you can see that even better. So we have that glass, which looks correct. Let me turn on 10 lines. So the glass has correct curvature, but the mullions are broken and it just doesn't look correct. Okay, so to create the mullions as part of the wall, they need to be modeled as sweeps. So let's select this wall again, 
let's go here into edit type and then here I'm just going to uh, go to structure go to preview now we can see the preview here uh, we want to switch this to section and this will allow you to add sweeps so you just click on sweeps and then here you can add a sweep uh, I'm just going to use this default profile just because that's going to work for me uh, and I'm just going to leave it as is uh, hit okay and it's going to appear down here so now when I click okay apply okay we're going to have that as a mullion now you can see it here it does follow that curvature however it is a little bit too thick and it just doesn't look like a mullion so let's create a new profile that's going to have the actual mullion shape so to do that uh, we first uh, need to edit this uh, sweep so what we can do for that is use one of the existing profiles however we don't really have any existing profiles apart from the default one so what we can do is we can go here to the project browser scroll down to families and expand that then you want to find profiles and expand that as well and here you will find uh, let's see I want to find this reveal brick course so I'm actually going to start with a reveal and then I'm going to switch switch it into a sweep so let's just come to this uh, family here as you can see this is what that looks like we can right click and hit edit and that's going to open this up now here I want, would like to see the actual dimensions so for that we just need to go into visibility graphics uh, so I'm just going to type in VG for visibility graphics go here to annotation categories and then turn on dimensions Hit apply okay and it's just going to show you the brick depth and height dimensions okay so what I want to do next is I just want to go here to family types I want to create a new type so this will be our Malian sweep so Malian sweep type click OK and then let's change some of these dimensions so the brick length I'm just going to set that to 150 as well as the brick depth and then the brick height will be left at 50 uh, because 50 by 150 is the dimensions of the actual mullion now the inset into the wall is really important so that's how far it will go into the actual wall and I want this to be about half so half of 150 that's 75 just leave it at that hit apply okay and now we have that uh, sweep or currently it's a reveal however we can turn it into a sweep by going here to profile usage expand the menu and then change this into a wall sweep just like that okay so once we have done this we can now save this family so let's go to file save as family and I'm just going to save it on my desktop as the let's call it our wall sweep Malian profile and let's hit save now once this is saved we can load it into the project and close it go back to the 3d view select this wall go into edit type go into structure open up the preview so we can access the sweeps and then here I can just exchange this profile to my Malian sweep uh, profile you can here adjust the material if you want and so on for now I'm just going to leave it like this hit apply okay see now it's kind of centered at the bottom and then you want to click OK apply OK and this is what we have so now here we seem to have a double mullion on the curtain wall so let's fix that so what I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to select the entire curtain wall go here into edit type and then we want to find our horizontal mullions and just set them all to none so we're only going to have the ones that we've actually created apply okay delete the mullions okay and now it's going to look like this so now we have that truly curved curtain wall now we still seem to have a bit of an issue here so you can see that this has kind of an offset so let's actually measure that if we can yeah so that's about yeah about 10 millimeters so we can actually fix this by going back to our wall edit type preview uh, structure sweep and then here we can actually give it an offset so let's try with minus 10 millimeters apply okay let's see if this fixes it and it did so now everything seems to be in order also you can play around with the materials so it matches the same material as the mullion here so let's see 
do we have the material here? So yeah, it's aluminium. So I'm just going to copy this material, click OK. So just Control C to copy, select the wall again, edit type, and then let's go to structure, uh, set it to section, and then here in sweeps, you just want to go to material and then paste that aluminium here and it's going to change that material. Okay, so now it should be the same. Let's see. Yes, it is. Perfect. Okay, so finally, let's fix the last issue, which is here on top, we don't seem to have a mullion. So for that, we actually need to create a new wall type for this final panel up here. So let's select it. So for this final set of panels, so I'm just going to select one of the panels, right click, go to select panels on a horizontal grid. So it selects all the top panels, then I'm going to go here into edit type. And we can see so that's uh, basically that's this one. So we just need to unpin it first, go back to edit type, duplicate this one, let's call it glass panel wall dash top, click OK. And then for this one in structure for the sweeps, I'm just going to duplicate this profile, just like that. And I'm just going to change it from base to top. When you hit apply, as you can see, now it's going to have one on top here. So now when I click OK, apply, OK, and we're going to have that uh, basically profile running on top here. Uh, now we can still switch here. So it does seem to be broken in between the mullions. So that's a little bit annoying. So we can actually fix that by selecting the wall again, going into edit type, structure, preview, sweeps, and then for the top one, oops, this is the wrong one. So let's select the top one. Okay. Uh, and then here for the top one, let's add a distance of minus 50. So just a small offset on top. So what this will do is when you hit finish, it's just going to bring that profile down. So it's basically in the line with the vertical mullions. And we have a really nice looking correctly curved curtain wall. So as I said, this is not a complete solution for everything, but it does solve the issue. Now let me show you the second approach. So this is a curtain wall created with that second approach. What you'll notice here is this is basically a stacked wall. So if I select it, go here into edit, it's just a stacked wall that stacks mullions and glass. Now the problem is what you how you create the vertical uh, mullions and this is just a regular basic wall. So even though this uh, might be perhaps easier to set up at first, just to add those vertical mullions, as you can see here, it's really difficult and tedious. So I really wouldn't recommend this approach. However, it is an approach that you might want to consider for some reason. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. If you want to get access to all of my Revit project files, make sure to go to my Patreon page, which I'm going to link up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.